I'm just at a sitting in my camshaft. I have my own, own homemade little markings in there. As I said with my little made up tool, but I'm just about to put back on this little cap that sits, I'd say, in here, okay? And I actually thought it was going to be sealer that was sitting around here, that some chap was putting sealer in there. And then I said to myself, right, why do I need, I don't need sealer. Whoever done this before me, I said, I don't need sealer between in here and here. So I looked at it and this is not sealer. This is, is carbon buildup. What it does is the oil actually pumps from, pumps from this hole, the little hole as you can see there right at the top of my finger, comes up in this oilway, cross and over. There's a little bolt hole here, but that bolt hole is just blocked. Oh yeah, that bolt. But it comes over and, and it's then lubricating the back camshaft because there is no way for oil to get in there to the back one. Mm -hmm. No, so this was an inhibiting oil flow over to the exhaust camshaft but just don't get caught on that so I'm going to clean on that now and reassembling it. Just that may, may not make a fantastic amount of sense but this is as basic as I got so I have this piece of it's just it's a bit of box iron that I cut actually while I was kind of stuck trying to save myself a little bit of time in doing this. And that I use the two bolt holes for holding down the rocker cover at the time and chain side and then I just Bolt that, bolted that down, and wherever the pulley of the camshaft stopped, I didn't weld these on until I, I bolted this down first, and then I sat up my bolts, holding the kind of oval cutout of the, that's out of the camshaft pulley, I kind of sat them to one side holding it and put a spot of weld on it. Same on this end, I ran it in and I held it to the opposite side of the pulley holes or the slot, and put a spot of weld on it. And basically when it was bolted down and held in here tight, it's holding the pulley into place. Pulley can't drop, pulley can't turn. It's just held by two little spots of bolts. Then what I done was I loosened off the nut and slid my pulley out on them. I'll show you there in the next um, screen. You'll see the way I, I pull the thing up. But it's as simple as that. Silly little bit of steel, but it'll save you taking off the, the time and chain in its to total, totality, I'm going to say, but in its total. What I will say is if it goes wrong, this ain't my bogey telling you to do this, but if it goes wrong, it doesn't really matter because you're not going to turn the engine anyway. Any decent mechanic man will not turn the engine anyway. If it goes wrong, it just means you have to do the job that was standing there anyway. But this is what I've done. And if it went wrong, I'd have to do the full job. If it didn't and it worked, whip you do, and it worked, okay? You'll see it there. Watch and I'll, I'll see what, show you what I mean. Right, let's just to show how this thing kind of has worked. I've put marks, as you've probably seen, on the camshaft, but my little bolts, or this little bracket, the way it worked was, if you can see that, it's, I can slide the pulley back, or I have slid the pulley back enough just to get in and get in and get out. Oops, sorry. Let me see. Get in and you can see the bit of space down here where I've pulled it back out. See it? Where the pulley comes out. Um, put it back down there now again if we can see. So now what I do then, what I've done then to put it back in was to turn my camshaft to line up my marks. And then I use the spanner just to slip it back the pulley from the little little tool and I'll show you this tool maybe in more detail in a while but that's actually on and in place now camshaft camshafts are lined up to where I want them to be so I have I had a mark here I had two marks here I had two marks here I pulled off my chain when I pulled off the chain then the camshaft actually turned when the pressure off the chain was after going away. Uh, when they did, I put another two marks here and here when it sat in its comfortable position. I sat in the new pull, new, sorry, here, the new camshaft in with the marks lined up. And then once I had the, all the bolts, all the bolts for holding it down in situ, I turned, it's a 23 spanner that actually fits on 
onto that and I turn it back to where it should be, as in there. Then I, as I said, just pushed in my gear in here. But that's it, I'm taking this bracket off now and I'm gonna send in a bolt while it's hanging or sitting on the end of the camshaft, okay? Relatively easy. Um, and then we'll come back to our high pressure pump on this side in a minute. Kind of running it off a little bit backwards, but this intercooler pipe has to come off. There's two bolts sitting in here. Head back, a bolt here, a bolt here. That gets off that clip sitting down here. Um, then we have this steel bracket has to come off. There's a bolt sitting in in here, and there's another one sitting in kind of in behind that bracket in here. That takes off this. We have to take off this water pipe here. We have to take off a water pipe here. And then the high pressure pump, there is a, is a banjo bolt there. That's probably head, heading down to a fifth injector or, or the like, I don't know. But it has to come off. The um, rest of it can stay on it. Two bolts holding on the high pressure pump, one in here, one situated if we can see just in here underneath that uh, inlet metering valve and the pump comes out okay so that's back assembled now so it is kind of backwards um up here with the piece of tin for spraying oil down on the camshafts back in make sure that you have uh, all the little weep holes inside and that that spray out on the lobes clear and clean and it's going to keep everything lubricated but just step closer anyway Getting there now, close to a, a start after my um, I don't know, hour or two of reassembly, three hours, I don't know, maybe. Um, injectors, just to note, I number them all. Don't feel like recoding or any of that crack, so we have um, numbered them. And I suppose fuel rails on tight. High pressure pump pipes on brackets and that's sitting in there done as i said they're getting close to a start uh, intake pipe airbox back in mm, for a little while we'll be turning the key have some 20 to 8 um have the mazda back running just after washing my hands and face and stuff i normal stuff left uh steel brake lines going onto injectors open cranked it which built, built up oil pressure and then that also filled that hydraulic follower that I had put in with oil. Um, I could hear the sound come back um, after a couple of times cranking, got out, locked up my pipes, had fuel coming out of them and turned the car again. She starts and runs. So at this point it runs. It's uh, seven quarter eight as I said there and it's probably time to go home. Um, the glory of garage would stay at it but as we all know, this business could suck in and just keep in it for as long as it wants. So hey, talk to you. Um, might make three parts of this, so there might be, I might make a separate one for the sump removal. And I'll, you know which way I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe, please. Trying our best here, guys. Thanks very much. Talk to you soon.